Hey everybody, Joe here. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Um, okay, uh, this is not what I was hoping to... Oh, God, my hair looks like hell. This is not what I actually wanted to put up today. But it. I got some vape mail that came in today, and I am extremely excited about it. So I just wanted to put up a short, quick uh, little unboxing video here just to share it with you and let you know some of the new stuff that will be coming along on the channel in the, in the near future. So, um, yeah, here it is. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, God, my fingers have been itching to open this thing up. I've only got one shot at opening this up, and I wanted to give you guys a chance to take a look to see exactly what it looked like when I opened it up and everything else. Yes, I did take the time to white out, uh, black out my address and everything else. Yes. I like my privacy. What can I tell you? Okay. Uh, but yeah, here it is. And like you said, like I said, hasn't been opened. Okay. So without any further ado, we're going to take a walk downstairs uh, to the build deck and um, we'll take a look at this thing. I'll open it up and we'll see how, what's in there. And um, you know, you can get an idea and then we'll come back up and really quick and uh, I'll give you a couple of little things that are going to be happening about the live broadcast. So, all right. So let me see. What are we doing here? Okay. This is the key sequence here. All right. So I'm just going to pause this real quick and we're going to go down to the build deck and we're going to take a quick look at this. All right. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, here we are. Here's the, the package. Uh, let's uh, cut into this. I'm only getting one shot at this, so let's rock and roll. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right, that's the SMY, SJMY KFUN 5 and the new Mobula. Those are the two things that are, that are going to be up for review. Uh, let's take a look and see what this looks like real quick. All right, so we've got uh, spare O-rings, a couple of screws, little blue screwdriver. Ah, yet another one to add to my collection. All right, uh, glass tank. Okay. That's the glass tank for it. And the, yes, this is a clone. This is not the real one. Okay. Let's take a quick look here and see what we're looking at. Well, this is looking pretty good here. From the pictures and stuff that I've seen of the... of the KFUN 5 uh, from some of the other reviews... I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit low here. I've got my mic moved over, so that's looking pretty good. That looks pretty nice. Build quality on this is nice. Yeah. Ooh, those threads are nice. Nice and smooth. This is nice. Real nice. And it's not presenting itself as being, even though it's got the Zomesto logo uh, splashed all over it, it is a, it is a clone. The main thing that really gets to me is when I get something in a package. And here, right on here it says SJMY. Um, so they're not presenting themselves, the, the product, as being actually a Zomesto, even though it's got the Zomesto logo logo on it and stuff 
They're not presenting it as beings, well, Mesto. This is what usually determines whether or not I'll, if I'll do a, a clone. The packaging. If the packaging is made up to look like it's a, an actual Zvomesto product, no way in hell it's going to turn around and come on my channel. But, you know, okay, I'll, I'll go with the, the, the logo and stuff like that on there, even though I wish they wouldn't do it, but I can understand why they're doing it, because they're doing a, um, a full one-to-one -one clone. That's pretty nice. The steel on here is very well made. The threads are, considering the fact that I just opened this up and I just took it out of the package, there is a slight smell of machine oil on here. Not much, though. Just ever so slightly. So this will have to get cleaned down before we do anything. But... Let's see. Okay. Let's take a look at the juice flow controls. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah. All right. All right. Looking good. All right. Well, first look at the K Fun 5 clone. And that's really looking nice. All right. Let's take a look and see what this Mobula looks like. I've heard some really good things about this Mobula. And I really am interested in taking a look and trying this thing out. So you can see I'm opening this right up here, right on camera. Okay, it's got a scratch and check authenticity, which I will be checking out. Well, you can see it got a little damaged on its trip from China. see what we got here okay the presentation looks like some of the st other stuff that I've seen as being genuine so it's, this is looking good oh very very nice very nice instruction manual All right, I'll figure out how to put this back together in a few minutes. The quality on the glass is really nice. There's no sharp edges, no no feeling like they just took a file and uh, or a, a glass cutter and just clipped it. The edges on here are nice and smooth so they won't be janky on your uh, the O-rings. Okay, there's the <clears throat> there's the plug. Looks like it's a 1.25 millimeter hex key. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm starting to get quite a few of these 1.25 millimeter hex keys. Let's take a look at the tank. Nice. Really nice. Is that the... Yes, it is. That's the 510 adapter in there. Hear that? Hear how smooth that... Those, uh... Threads are. 
Nice. Very nice. Okay, wait a minute. This is supposed to have a ring in here for this is a griffin style deck and this is supposed to have a ribbon in here uh, a ring in here for the for the cotton there's no ring here okay I'm going to have to get on to these people and find out. Actually, I'm going to have to get on to Smoant because this is a sealed package. I'm going to have to go and check that uh, authenticity code out real quick to find out if this is really a Smoant. And if it is, I need to get on to Smoant and find out how come I don't have the ring here for the cotton. Because that's supposed to be there. This is a uh, Griffin style deck, and it should be here. Let's just take a real quick look inside here, see if it might have gotten stuck in here. Okay. All right, that's doesn't it's there's a there's a crack in there. Yeah. I think it's coming loose. No. According to what I'm seeing here, glass tube. Well, it's got a gl extra glass here, so it's got to come apart. So, yeah. <sighs> okay this is going to be interesting this is not coming apart very easily but I'm not seeing a ring in here for for that alright alright well this is the reason why I check everything out before I turn around and before I do anything, before I do any kind of reviews or anything, uh, just to see exactly what's happening. This is the first time I've ever gotten a product from a manufacturer where there's actually been a piece missing from the, uh, the product. So, all right, let me go and check this out and uh, check out the scratch and check and see if this is a real small ant uh, piece and get on to the company and see about getting that ring because without that ring on here wicking this thing is going to be a bitch and a half uh, if not impossible because that ring that goes right in here that ring is what holds your wicking in place and keeps it from going all over the place so Okay, uh, looks like uh, I got some emails to write and some places to check. So, all right, uh, let's head back up topside and um, we'll discuss this. All right, talk to you in a few. Oh, yeah, sorry, I. Sorry, I. No, yeah, I'm doing real good today. <laughs> um,. I was using those things to read the tiny little numbers that were on the um, scratch and check. And it seems that I do have a genuine uh, mobula here. So um, I'm going to put in the, the web page like right here, right now. As you can see on the web page, um, yeah, it says right here at the very bottom, right there on the side, um, authentic. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to get in touch with, um, I think her name, if I remember right, I believe her name is Taylor over at Smoant. And uh, 
get in touch with her and talk to her and see if she can send me out a, a replacement ring for this because uh, without that ring, hell, I can't even turn around and uh, put this thing through its paces and I really want to. It looks like a really interesting tank. It's very well put together, for at least from what I can see right now. Just that it doesn't have that the, the wicking ring there, so... Um, I could probably fudge it by getting some like some copper and making a, a ring or something like that, a temporary ring, and put it in there. But it's going to affect the taste of the coil and uh, of the the vape and everything else, and um, that wouldn't be a proper review. So, yeah, um, all of this is going to wind up going into the final um, review on this product. So, um, I'll be getting in touch with them, and we'll talk to them about it. Yeah, uh, the other thing, I was, I, I was talking about before we went down to the build deck. Um, Thursday, when I came home from work, um, I found out that we had a issue with our um, plumbing here in the apartment. Um, the landlord and his plumber were up here in our apartment and he came back on Friday to do some work and it seems that he didn't completely do the work there was a leak in our shower and um, well there's a leak coming from the stem that goes into the wall that turns the water on and off and it's coming out through the handle so unfortunately he wasn't able to do anything about it today because he had to go to a wake so the landlord will be back tomorrow with the plumber to address this issue so i'm probably not going to be able to uh put up my uh live broadcast tomorrow on youtube so um my apologies once again real life is Okay, this is going to be a really bad pun, so please forgive me for it. Um, once again, real life is invading my vaping place. So, okay, there, I said it, all right? For the pun police out there, I don't accept fines. Mm -mm, sorry. Yeah, so, um, all right. Um, I guess that's pretty much about it. I got a little bit of editing to do. I've got some instant messaging to do, and hopefully I'll be able to... Um, get this up and get Taylor to, yeah, Taylor, to be able to send me out a replacement ring for this. Um, uh, I would really like to see about getting this thing, doing the review on this. I've really been looking forward to trying this tank out. I've been hearing some very, very good intelligence from other reviewers who have taken a look at this and I would like to give it be able to try it and to actually be able to give my opinion on the uh, the product itself and unfortunately without that that cotton wicking ring in there I really can't do it properly yeah so okay folks um that's pretty much it this is just supposed to be really quick, really short, um, so you can see what's going on. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. You take care. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the Lord hold you in the hollow of his hand, and may you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Take care. Bye.